Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how to make this 3D printed 16 segment display panel on Fusion 360. I designed it so that it would be big enough so you can even print it with the A1 Mini. You can use it as a calendar or maybe a countdown sign, but since it's made up of these 16 small segments, it's also possible to show letters on the panel. Or if you feel like it, use it to relieve stress. Look how satisfying this is. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So let's first start with creating a new sketch. You need to define a plane, it could be any, but I'll choose this one. Now we want to draw a rectangle just for size reference. We'll delete that later. Let's make it 55 millimeters. Then insert the SVG file of the segments. Now you want to rescale and position that so the height would kind of match. Let's delete that rectangle. Now you want to select everything and remove the constraint by clicking this lock icon. That will make the green lines blue and make it easier to work with. Move the sketch by right clicking on it and select move slash copy. Let's move the sketch 6 millimeters away from the X axis and 5 millimeters away from the Y axis. Click the offset tool and make a 1mm offset on the inside of each segment. Now you want to select everything and hit Command C or Control C on your keyboard to copy it, then Command V or Control V to paste it. Set the X distance to 43.5mm and hit OK. Continue to make copies of the sketch until you'll end up with 4 of those. This part is kind of optional, but if you want, you can make a small circle in the middle. Like for example, if you want to use the panel for showing the date. Let's rename the sketch so it's easier to switch sketches later. Let's copy the entire sketch by clicking Command C or Control C. I want to paste that sketch in another plane, so let's create an offset plane. Choose any blue area of the sketch and set the distance of the offset plane to 40 millimeters. Now you can enlarge the plane if you want, but it doesn't really matter if you don't. Now right click on that plane and choose create sketch. Hit command V or control C to paste the sketch here. Let's rename the sketch while we're at it. I want to work on the plane for the panel first, so I'm going to hide this plane. Right click on the first sketch and select edit sketch. Let's draw a rectangle from the origin and make it 65 millimeters tall and 181 millimeters wide. Now you want to click extrude and then select the outlines of all the segments and extrude 5mm up. I just realized that I forgot to create an offset for the small circle, so let's do that real quick. I'll make the offset 0.8mm this time. Then extrude the outline of that circle. Now you want to extrude the rectangle and make it 10 millimeters and set the operation to join. We are now basically done with the panel, but I want the edges to be rounded, so let's use the fillet tool to round them. Now let's make the caps for the segments. You want to move over to another plane, so activate it and hide the first sketch. Let's also hide the panel, right click the sketch and select edit sketch. I'm gonna hide some features so they won't get in the way. Then we want to create another offset for 5 segments including the circle. I'm gonna type in minus 0.1 to make the caps a tad bit smaller than the holes. I'm gonna delete the sketch that I don't need because we only need to create 5 caps and just print the copies of those later. Now click extrude, then select the outline, make sure not to select the most outer line. Extrude 10 millimeters downward and click OK. Now we want to extrude the middle part but if the sketch disappears, activate it again. Then click extrude. Select the middle part and extrude 0.4mm downward and set the operation to join. Repeat the process for all the other segments. 
Now we are done. I'm just going to rename the parts here and export them as SDL files individually. Now if you have the time, you could also create a simple box where you can put LED strips in there, but that's entirely up to you. So let's print all these parts and I'll see you guys in a minute. I made a hole at the back side of the box so I can pass an LED strip through it and stick it inside the box. Of course, this is entirely optional. So there are a lot more things you can do like maybe an LED box of your logo, your name or something like this. If you don't want to go through all the trouble designing your own panel, you can download the files for the panel which you can find in the description box below. So I hope you find this tutorial helpful and make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I'll see you guys in the next one.